Hello. Today in class we're going to continue solving problems with directly proportional and inversely proportional quantities. But in our problem, which we will solve today, some quantities are unknown, and these are two quantities. How do we solve these problems in an alloy of silver and gold? The ratio of gold to silver is 3 to 5. The mass of silver is 12 grams more than the mass of gold. We need to find the total weight of the alloy. And we need to find the weight of the gold in the alloy. In order to solve this problem, we first need to determine Determine what the problem is about. This problem is about the mass of gold and the mass of silver. And it says that the ratio of the mass of gold to the mass of silver is three parts to five. There are three parts of gold and five parts of silver in this alloy. The mass of silver is 12 grams more than the mass of gold. So how do we write this down? If the condition says that the mass of silver is 12 grams more than the mass of gold, then neither the mass of silver nor the mass of gold is known to us. Uh, but we are told that the mass of silver is 12 grams greater than the mass of gold. But we don't know the mass of gold. So we denote the mass of gold by M. Then the mass of silver is 12 grams greater. M plus 12. Now let's do the proportions. These quantities are directly proportional. Because there's more silver in this alloy than gold. The masses of silver are greater than the masses of gold. Then it's direct proportionality. It's direct proportionality. Let's make a proportion. 3 divided by 5 equals m divided by m plus 12. Uh, we need to find the value of m from this proportion. We use the basic rule of proportion. 5 times m. 5 times m equals 3 times m plus 12. In order to solve this equation, we need to open the parentheses. On the left side, I will write 5 times m as 5m. On the right side, 3 times m. 3m's plus 3 times 12 is 36 as a result. 5m minus 3m equals 36. I move the 3m's from the right side to the left side. The result is 5m minus 3m equals 36. And 5m minus 3m, which is 2m's, equals 36. m equals 18. Let us return to the condition of our problem to our record. Through M we denote the mass of gold in our alloy. The mass of gold is 18 grams. Then the mass of silver is 30 grams. So we've answered the question. What is the mass of gold in the alloy? But we have another question. We need to find the total weight of the alloy. But if there's 18 grams of gold and 30 grams of silver, the total weight of 18 plus 30 equals 40. 8. In solving this problem, we introduced a variable. And we solved our proportion using the basic property. In the next lesson, we'll solve proportionality problems. That's all for today. Goodbye. See you again.